What is up guys? Welcome back. So I did promise to show off my new Golems B17, but I didn't actually, you know, I actually forgot, completely forgot about it. So here it is. I'm going to go to go through one run first and then I'll show my runes after or my gems after. They're not that good. They're just really really random gems. But it does prove that you are able to get through B7 with just pretty pretty shitty gems and a lot of wood monsters. Um you could definitely replace this Dark Six Star with another, with another wood. Um, you know, I was thinking like the Wood Mona. You could probably just use the Wood Mona instead of the Dark uh, Sea Star, and then you can get attack for all wood monsters. And then you can always switch out your Wood Hana and switch him, in, switch into any Wood Healer. I think the Wood um, Mini Cat or something is pretty good. Or no, 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 the Wood, uh, the 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 Coteen or something has cleanse for the dots. So if you like, just raise any wood healer basically, it doesn't even matter which one you raise. As long as you raise one to 5 stars, you should definitely be able to clear this, no problem. Um, I did use my dark C star because she is 6 starred, so I didn't need to raise another wood monster. That's kind of the good thing with the C star, is you can kind of bring her everywhere, and she's usable. So you don't have to do anything special with her. Alright, so... Yeah, I think most of it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. It's just basically um, you abuse the elemental advantage that you have on the monster. But for my team, I, I had to switch out some units. This is my new team. My old team basically used the Wood Nightmare instead of the Gatito. And it was a lot slower because I built her like full tank for, for arena. Um, just fighting in the arena. But I built the... I did. I can't even talk right now. I, I built this Gatito with two attack slots, so yeah, he's gonna have a lot more damage, but he's also a lot squishier. But it's completely fine since he's wood, and I'm planning to basically just use him for this stage, so I don't really need to have him like you know super super well built. Um, yeah, but he does do his job properly, and I do have two armor breakers, so I can do a lot of damage to the boss if I can manage to land one armor break. And also, the Gatito second skill has, like, it's a single target nuke, so it does a lot of damage to a single target. I also have attack down with the Wood Hana, but it's not really, it's not really necessary because I don't really need to, you know, I don't really need to land attack down on the boss. He already ba barely does any damage to my team. Um, as long as I'm able to armor break him and kill him fast enough, nothing bad ever happens. Actually, nothing bad has ever happened yet. I've had a few runs where, where um, my my Miho and my uh, Hana died, but my C Star and my my uh, Gatito was able to do it. I forget their names sometimes. I think my brain's slow right now because I I've been talking for too long. Yeah, he's gonna take a lot of damage from that that boss's uh revenge skill, retribution. Alright, so I basically just need to land an armor break, and then in like four more turns or so he should be able to die. So everybody spam nuke. Yeah, that was half his HP bar. So like in two more turns I should be able to kill him. Uh, the good thing about landing two armor break is or having two armor break is you can basically keep the armor break on the boss at all times if you're, you're able to just constantly armor break him. That was really unfortunate that I got petrified just now because I was I would have been able to use my second skill while the boss is armor broken. But I guess he's just going to use it now. It's still going to do a lot of damage but he resisted my, uh, my debuffs. And let's hope most of my team survives this. My Wood Hana has her heal, so even if my Gatito dies now, it should be totally fine. Alright, so that's a lot of sap. I think he's dead for sure. Oh wait, never mind. He lived by like, a little bit. Alright, this is not exactly a good run. It was a, actually a pretty bad run because of the, the Petrify and how the armor breaks were resisted for so long. But yeah, I, I think you guys get the general idea. The run was about 4 minutes long. Um, 4 minutes and like 40-ish seconds. I guess I can take this. This is an okay room. Or okay gem. And I'm going to show you their gems. 
their builds. So my C star has like really really bad gems. It's just random gems that I had a long time ago. Ever since I was able to like I basically got these gems when I was able to clear extreme on like the the normal maps. And um yeah, basically I just got them to plus 9, slapped them on my C star and she's been like that ever since. I have not switched her her gems. Um uh, this this one I gemmed up recently, so I used a an attack with some defense and HP subs. And this is an attack with a uh, crit rate sub. And HP with crit rate and crit damage and um, resist sub. And then her runes are pretty random. They're all, only plus 6 runes that I just basically... Um, I didn't care about the sub stats at all and I just got them to plus 6. And she's basically like, if I have better runes in the future, I'm definitely just gonna put the new runes over these ones. So it should be definitely okay. My Hana is kind of in the same boat as her, except for like this rune. This rune's a, a recovery rune I had really, really early on. I just decided to get this to plus 12. And um, it's a 4 star HP rune that I got to plus 12 also very early on because she was basically my main healer for a long time. And this is a really just normal shitty rune that I got to plus 6. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I kept calling them rooms, didn't I? Um, my gems are complete garbage, so if you if I can do it, you can do it too. Just raise some monsters to five stars, raise some wood monsters to five stars, and you should definitely be able to clear um, B7 at the very very least. Just got, use some four star gems and you know get them to plus nine. I, I have some of them at plus six, so it's like if you get them to plus nine, should should definitely be okay. And if even better, if you want to get them to plus twelve, um, you can do that as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like my video, um, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.